Welcome back. Welcome back. Let's begin, as always, with an invocation to the lineage of gurus. Divine Mother, Heavenly Father, dearest friend, beloved God, great masters of self-realization, Jesus Christ, Babaji Krishna, Lahiri Mahashai, Swami Sri Yukteswar, beloved Guru Paramhansa Yoganandaji, great saints and sages of all traditions, I humbly and lovingly invoke your presence and bow before you all. Attune us to your consciousness. Be with us in meditation tonight and pull us into your flow. Divine Mother, awaken your love in me and teach me to awaken that love in all. Om Shanti Shanti Shanti. Peace. Amen. So this week, just to share a little bit about my personal journey, I've been experiencing lately some difficult energy and I know that there is some challenging astrological energy going on now so and in earlier in this week so maybe collectively we've all been feeling this as well but feeling a sense of lock, a loss of confidence a loss of faith a um, loss of being able to clearly see projects or visions of the future that were so clear before becoming muddy. Earlier in this week was really experiencing a lot of this and what's nice is with my meditation practice I'm happy to report that these moods or these feelings or these, you know, um, moments of losing hope and losing uh, connection, they don't, like in the past, last for days, weeks, you know, months. They come and go very quickly because I do have a daily meditation practice and I have tools that I can use. So these moments really only last for hours. And I'm happy to report that uh, these moods can be dissolved through meditation practice, through Hong Sa, through my Kriya Yoga practice. And so that's what we're working on tonight is developing tools that we can use when times get tough and difficult. I noticed uh, when I was feeling this lack of confidence, this uh, self-deprecating attitude. I had a good amount of, you know, hours of time where I was sort of wallowing in that and noticing that while I could be using all these things that I was beating myself up for as fuel or motivation to do better, I was just being crippled by this energy and it wasn't until later on in the evening when I used my, uh, I used an, an affirmation. Affirmations can really be incredible. If you're not familiar with using affirmations, they can seem trite or, you know, ridiculous at first, but really when you get a sense of, of using affirmations in your life, you can really reprogram your mind and have some really wonderful results. So in the evening using, affirm using an affirmation that was very helpful and then using going into my yoga practice, meditation practice, really brought me out of that mood, that self-deprecating loss of faith, loss of confidence. And when overcoming those feelings and those fears, I was able to, again, turn it into fuel, realizing that these thoughts and these feelings that I was having 
were really there only to help me grow and to show me that I needed to be implementing new things in my life for success. And it was only after the meditation that I could actually do that before it was just crippling, like I said. So uh, working on meditation, it's, it, it's been a really incredible tool in my life and I'm, I don't know what I did without it before. Um, and this week also in the group, we've been learning a new word. This is a Sanskrit term. In English, there's not really a word for this because as one of my teachers from Ananda says in, in the West, they don't really talk about things like this that often in the mainstream at least. And the word is bhav, B-H-A-V. It's a Sanskrit word that relates to the way, it's, it's a word about the way in which we relate to God which could be like in the opening prayer, we could relate to God as our divine mother, as our heavenly father, as our dearest friend, as the beloved, as our guru. And this is a chosen form that we feel most inclined to relate to God in this way. As the Bible says, man was created in God's image and this, this physical universe is created in God's image. So these relationships of mother, father, friend, beloved, teacher, these are all aspects of God and those relationships can point to how we can relate to the infinite, eternal, uh, ever conscious, ever new, all-pervading bliss, which is God, teaches us how to interact with it. And bhav not only means the way in which we relate to God, but also means the attitude that we ourselves assume in relation to that form. So if we relate to God as our divine mother, then the attitude that we invoke in ourselves, we become a child in front of God. We become a, a child who is interested in pleasing their mother, a child who is very much looking for merging with love and becoming very childlike. So this this combination of the way that we, the way that we see God, the way that we relate to God, and the attitude that we have ourselves is bhav. And I thought that was a very helpful, useful term and way to think about it. We can, in our meditation tonight, at the end of our meditation, we'll drop the techniques and we'll merge and we'll will call to God in whatever form we most relate to. So if we use the Divine Mother, we'll call out as children. And the inner guru is our teacher. And we are also learning this week from a course we're taking with Ananda that uh, our guru is like say, a piano teacher that teaches you how to use the instrument. And together, you and the teacher celebrate the music. Well, the guru helps us with the instrument of consciousness. And we, together with the guru, experience the uplifting presence of God together. And I was thinking about that in my meditation earlier today, that when we're doing these techniques, we can attune to our inner guru, our teacher. You can, you can call on Yogananda, Jesus Christ, Buddha, Krishna, any of, the, any of the teachers that you see that we use in the prayer. And we can attune to them for help to learn how to use this instrument of consciousness. 
And just like any teacher, any coach, there are techniques to train, to help us train, techniques and drills. So we'll be using Hong Sa, which is, you can think of it as a, just like a coach would have a, a drill or a teaching or a practice. This is practice for training your consciousness. Hong Sa, very powerful technique for developing concentration. And we can attune to our inner guru to help us. And then we can drop the techniques. And then together with our guru, we can experience the uplifting presence of God in any form that we feel most connected to. So tonight, Let's find a comfortable place to sit, the back in a straight line. The straighter you can get your back, the more the energy can flow upwards through the spine, can expand the chest by pressing the shoulder blades together a bit. And with the palms upturned at the junction of the torso and the legs, we'll be using a breathing exercise where to release the tension in the body. It's a double inhalation, low, medium, high tension, and exhale and relax. And we'll also be using measured breathing where we'll be inhaling to a count of eight, holding to a count of eight, and exhaling to a count of eight. So let's begin with a prayer together, the hands together in front of the chest, repeating after me, Father divine, Father divine, this is my prayer. This is my prayer. I care not what I may permanently possess. I care not what I may permanently possess. But give me the power. But give me the power to acquire at will. To acquire at will. Whatever I may daily need. Whatever I may daily need. O oh, Father. O oh, Father. Mother. Mother. Friend. Friend. Beloved God. Beloved God. I will reason. I will reason. I will will. I will will. I will act. I will act. But guide thou my reason. But guide thou my reason. Will and activity. Will and activity. To the right thing that I should do. To the right thing that I should do. Om. Peace. Amen. So now the back in a straight line. Let's begin in, by inhaling, tensing the body. Take a deep breath in and exhale. Now double inhale and tense. Low, medium, high. All of the muscles in your body with tension. Exhale, relax. Release. Inhale and tense. Low, medium, high, vibrating with energy. Feel you're drawing energy into the body. Exhale, relax. Release. Inhale, intense. Low, medium, high, just a bit higher, vibrating with energy. Exhale, relax. Release, let go. Feel all of the energy melting away. All of the tension melting away. Back in a straight line. Calling on your inner guru to teach you, to be with you in meditation. Now, let's do a few rounds of measured breathing. Take a deep breath in and exhale. Now inhaling slowly. Hold. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. 
Inhale. Hold. Exhale. Last round, inhale. Hold. Exhale. Now breathing normally. Now begin to notice the breath. Feeling the breath coming and going. Not controlling the breath. Simply letting it come and go like waves on a seashore. Now begin to notice the sensation of the breath in the nose. Feeling either in the nostrils or higher, wherever you feel the most. Feel the breath coming and going. Noticing it to be a bit cool on the inhalation and slightly warm on the exhalation. Zooming in with all of your awareness. Becoming awareness. Feeling the inhalation and exhalation. And if you feel that sensation in the nostrils now, Consciously move that sensation up to the bridge of the nose, where the nose meets the skull. Feel the breath coming and going now from the bridge of the nose. Becoming more and more relaxed with each breath. And now let's move that sensation consciously up again, just slightly now, to the point between the eyebrows, the spiritual eye. Feel the breath coming and going, cool and warm from this point, gaze uplifted. Gaze uplifted to this point. Feeling the breath coming and going naturally. Now let's add the mantra Hong on the inhalation and saw on the exhalation, mentally chanting. This is a mantrified Sanskrit. For I am spirit, I am he. 
We are not these bodies. We are spirit, infinite and eternal. If you're familiar with the right index finger, you can add that now as well. Curling gently toward you on the inhalation and away from you on the exhalation. Making a determination to focus with enthusiasm, putting away all cares and worries. We've carved out this time together. Let's make good use of this time we have. All of our projects, our conversations, all of our tasks well, will be waiting for us when we are finished with our meditation. And it will be on it will be over all too soon, so enjoy this time letting go and focusing completely on the technique. Feeling the inhalation at the point between the eyebrows as a bit cool and the exhalation a bit warm, mentally chanting Hong Sa gaze uplifted at the point between the eyebrows, becoming more relaxed with each breath. As you become more and more relaxed, we find the breath becoming shorter, the pauses between breaths becoming longer. Simply enjoy those pauses, 
And if they become long, you can chant Om, Om, Om mentally at the pauses. Keeping the gaze uplifted at the point between the eyebrows, feeling the cool and warm sensations at the spiritual eye. Remembering to invite your inner guru to practice with you, your teacher. Teach you how to use this instrument of consciousness. Fine tuning your practice by practicing within you. Making sure your spine is straight, feeling as if your head is being lifted by a magnet. Energy is flowing upwards. Magnetizing the point between the eyebrows with concentrated focus. With each breath, we get a chance to 
Concentrate more fully with more determination. Concentrate on the technique fully for 30 seconds undistracted with all of your determination. Now, letting go of the technique, letting go of the breath, letting go of the mantra. Take in a deep breath as if you were breathing in through your heart. Hold the breath, feel the energy in the heart center. Now consciously move that energy up through the heart, up through the throat, up to the base of the brain, the medulla oblongata, curving slightly to the spiritual eye, gaze uplifted at that point. Three exhales, relax. Keeping the attention fully focused at the point between the eyebrows. Imagining or seeing a light there. Begin to feel now your own personal bhav, the way in which you relate to God. You feel God as the Divine Mother, the Heavenly Father, perhaps your dearest friend your beloved. Offer yourself now to that chosen form of God to help us relate to God and adopt the attitude, assume the attitude in relation to that form. Become like a child, a friend, a lover. With gaze uplifted at the point between the eyebrows, call out from that point with right attitude to God in the way that you feel most appropriate. Call out from that point, reveal thyself, reveal thyself. Yogananda tells us that the point between the eyebrows is like a mental microphone or a broadcasting station allowing our little self to make contact with our true self. Feel that you are calling out and making contact. Reveal thyself. 
reveal thyself. Now, begin to feel in the heart. Any vibration, any sensation, as you keep your gaze uplifted at the point between the eyebrows and feel in the heart center, begin to notice a vibration there. Yogananda tells us that the heart is like a receiver. Feel that your inner guru is tuning your heart to receive. The energy that is coming from the divine. Feel that your heart is opening like a lotus bud to receive the rays of the sun. And begin to notice feeling in the heart. Begin to notice it as a feeling of peace, a peace that passes all understanding. goes beyond language. Feel that peace. It's the feeling of a night sky. Feeling sitting on an empty beach and watching the waves coming and going. Feeling of the moon above, or the stars, infinite space all around you. Notice this feeling of peace beginning to grow and expand in the heart center. Growing and beginning to fill your body with this peaceful energy. Keeping the gaze uplifted at the point between the eyebrows keeping that connection, sending out your broadcast to the divine and feeling in the body. Feeling that energy, filling the body. Feel it gathering now again at the heart center. Feeling that energy being drawn into the heart. All of the energy that would go out into the limbs, out into the senses is now being drawn into the heart. Feeling it collecting there. Now feel that energy moving upwards, up from the heart to the throat, to the base of the brain curving slightly to the point between the eyebrows, seeing a light there, piercing the darkness, call out from that point to God and whatever feels most comfortable to you, reveal thyself, reveal thyself, taking the proper attitude in relation to God. Reveal thyself, undistracted. Feeling your heart open, drawing divine energy. Begin to notice a feeling in the heart center. There's a wonderful 
vibration of calmness. And calmness differs from peace in that it is dynamic, that we can feel this peace, I mean, this calmness. We can feel this inner calmness, even if we're in a world that is not peaceful. No matter what is going on in the world around us, this calmness is always available. Feel this calmness that is your home, that is your refuge, it is omnipresent, eternal. Yogananda tells us that calmness is invincibility. That with calmness we can stand unshaken amidst the crash of breaking worlds. Feel this vibration of calmness spreading all over your body from the heart center, expanding, filling your body and every fiber of your being with calm energy. Enjoying this calmness knowing that it is always there for you whenever you need it. We can invoke it in meditation and then learn to invoke this calmness whenever we need it in daily life with practice. Feeling this calm energy Feeling now it being drawn into the heart. See a swirling ball of rainbow light in the heart center. Swirling, spinning, iridescent rainbow light in the heart, shining bright. Feel that energy being drawn from the body, the senses. Moving away from the senses, collecting in the heart. Feel that energy now moving upwards from the heart up to the throat, up to the base of the brain, the medulla oblongata, and curving slightly to the spiritual eye. See a light there at that point. Gaze uplifted, calling out. Reveal thyself, the proper attitude with the proper bhava. This relationship that you are building has always been there. Swami Kriyananda tells us that God's love is always flowing to us and that it is we by our love who must complete the circuit. Feel now that you are offering your love at the spiritual eye, offering it to God. Becoming like a child, wanting to please their parent or a dear friend as a beloved, however feels most wonderful. Offering your love at the spiritual eye Feeling your heart opening. As we give love, we feel love. We receive love. We are love. We complete this circuit. 
Yogananda tells us that if you only knew how much God loves you, you would die for joy. Feel yourself dying into this joy, this love. In India, the word for God is Satchitananda. Yogananda defines it as ever conscious, ever existing, ever new bliss. Feel yourself merging with this bliss. center, seeing that bright light growing and expanding, filling your body with light, becoming so bright that it blurs the edges of your body with the light around you, feeling now that there is infinite space in all directions, white light, infinite space infinite space in front of you, infinite space behind you, infinite space to your left, infinite space to your right, infinite space below you, infinite space above you. The universe is expanding in all directions at the speed of light. Expanding from your heart center, which is center everywhere, circumference nowhere. Feel your body as this light. Enjoying this loving bliss energy. Enjoying this relationship that you are building. healing, someone that you would like to invite into this ray, this glowing light energy. Maybe one person, perhaps a group, see them bathed in this diamond light. See them smiling. See them freed from suffering any challenges that they're going through, they're learning and growing and moving beyond them. And they're happy for their challenges because it's made them stronger, made them closer to who they really are beyond the body, mind, and senses. You can say their names mentally. Feel that you are sharing this light from your heart center 
to their heart center. Feel this light so bright shining from your heart to theirs and then from theirs back to yours. Sending and receiving love. And now let's continue sharing this healing energy with the entire universe. Feel this glowing diamond light energy so bright that it's blurring the edges of your body. It's blasting out from you into the room, filling the room with iridescent rainbow light expanding and growing, expanding out to fill the house or the building that you're in, spilling out into the streets, into the neighborhood, into the city that you're in. All receptive hearts are being nourished by this light, expanding out to fill the state or the province you're in. Seeing this light expanding out exponentially to fill the country that you're in. All beings are being nourished frequencies are being elevated, becoming more peaceful. more calm. More loving. All oceans, rivers, lakes, animals, every creature, every atom, vibrating with this high frequency diamond light. Feeling this energy now expand to, to cover the globe. See planet Earth now floating in space, glowing with this rainbow light surrounding it in space. See that light energy expanding out in all directions at the speed of light, filling the entire universe with light. Feel that planet Earth is now deep within you. Your body is that infinite space of light expanding infinitely in all directions. Now with the hands together in front of the heart, repeating after me. Divine Mother, Divine Mother, thou art omnipresent. Thou art omnipresent. Thou art in all thy children. Thou art in all thy children. Manifest thy healing presence. Manifest thy healing presence in all bodies, in all bodies, minds, minds and, souls. and souls. Rubbing the hands together, magnetizing the palms, feeling warm energy in the hands. We'll share this energy by chanting Om three times. Taking in a deep breath, hands up. Om. Sending and receiving love.
And now, let's move our session into an affirmation for inspiration. The more we invite inspiration into our lives, the more it will be there for us to act on. And we can feel, we can open ourselves to intuition. Swami Kriyananda says that intuition simply is calm feeling. We become more sensitive with calm feeling than with agitated feeling. More able to act on intuition. More able to receive intuition. Feel yourself in a state of calm feeling. Swami Kriyananda says that inspiration is of two kinds. The rediscovery or rearrangement of thoughts that already exist in the subconscious mind and the sudden appearance of new thoughts or new insights from the superconscious. The higher inspiration, certainly, is more to be desired than the lower, for it is based in truth and not in imagination. It is not always easy, however, to, re to recognize the difference between lower and higher inspiration, particularly when the lower is vitalized by the emotions. When inspiration comes, receive it with calm love and see whether, untouched by emotion, its impulse grows stronger or weaker. Love is the water that nourishes true inspiration. And now let's say this affirmation, first with a loud energetic voice, second with a normal speaking voice, thirdly whispering and making your concentration even more focused, fourth silently, and fifth time silently with even deeper concentration. So now repeating after me in a loud energetic voice. I hold my thoughts up to the calmness within. I hold my thoughts up to the calmness within. In calmness I receive inspiration. In, in calmness, calmness I receive inspiration. From my higher self. From my higher self. I hold my thoughts up to the calmness within. I hold my thoughts up to the calmness within. In calmness I receive inspiration. In calmness I receive inspiration from my higher self. From my higher self. Whispering, I hold my thoughts up to the calmness within. I hold my thoughts up to the calmness within. In calmness I receive inspiration. From my higher self. Silently now, I hold my thoughts up to the calmness within. In calmness, I receive inspiration from my higher self. Fourth time now, silently with even deeper concentration, aiming to lift your consciousness into superconsciousness into your soul awareness so that these thoughts become deeply, deeply embedded in all levels of your body, mind, and soul. Fifth time, repeating silently, I hold my thoughts up to the calmness within. In calmness, I receive inspiration from my higher self. And now, repeating this prayer inwardly, O Spirit, Thou art all truth, in thee lies the solution to my every need. Inspire me now, Lord. Show me which path to follow of the many that lie before me. Om. Peace. Amen. And now, to spend a few moments inviting inspiration into your life. using your chosen bhava, assuming 
the proper attitude. Invite inspiration into your life. Make yourself open to receiving it with calm feeling, which is the essence of intuition. Repeating this affirmation inwardly, thou art wisdom, and thou dost know the cause and end of all things. I am thy child. I want to know life's true mystery, life's true joyous duty. Thy wisdom in me shall show all things that thou dost know, that thou dost know. Now let's end by chanting Om three times together, continuing to feel this connection, dying for joy. Taking in a deep breath. Peace, amen. Joy and inspiration to you, friends.